Exactly two months from today, a popular family-run North End restaurant will close down after 81 years in business. Kalekis Restaurant, located at Main Street and Redwood Avenue, will close its doors on January 30th of next year. The restaurant was one of the first to feature takeout food in the city. Current owner Mary Kalekis will soon be celebrating her 88th birthday and says she needs a break. The closure follows the shutting down of Papa George's in Osborne Village in October and the Wagon Wheel downtown in July. And stay tuned, we'll have more on the closure coming up in WTF with BT's Sean Greck in just a couple of minutes. Just about 20 to 9 on your Friday morning time for WTF. Web Twitter, Facebook, our web producer Sean Greck filling in for Brittany, joining us now with sad news in the city. Oh my goodness, you guys, everybody's talking about this. Totally. A, uh, Kalekis is the local restaurant here in Winnipeg that's closing down after oh. 81 years in business. So many people are very sad that this is happening. A staple in the city known for their shoestring fries mm -hmm. and diner food. I've never eaten there, but you guys... Manitobans, you guys definitely Delicious. have Delicious. I think most Winnipeggers have definitely set foot in that, uh, through those doors more than once, and it's very sad news, particularly after, you know, a lot of staples in the city have been shutting their doors. The Wagon Wheel, not that long ago, and Lion Restaurant in the in uh, the Osborne Village area. Yeah. So it's just kind Papa of... Papa George's. Papa George's. It's really, you know, it's just really sad news, and people all over Twitter and Facebook are commenting. Yeah, totally. We got a lot of reaction there on the Facebook site this morning, and uh, many people say, James uh, B-Face Boyer says, I'm going there for lunch tomorrow for the last time and uh, Deb Grand Gra Deb Grant says she's sad we'll go there for a meal before they close Aww. and lastly Michelle says wow I used to go there all the time and I'm very sad they're closing down it's a shame because she grew up in the north end well yeah it's a staple and we will say the owner Mary she's going to be 88 and she's saying that she just needs a little bit of a break sure. so uh, kudos to you for working so long and so hard that's right you have totally. January 30th to go. yeah <laughs> yes that's exactly when they close and sometime in the new year well, Winnipeg is losing an iconic restaurant after 81 years. Kalekas Restaurant on Main Street will close its doors in January. CBC's Marjorie Dowhouse joins us live with more. Look at those juicy burgers on the grill. It smells so good in here. Food like that is what the Kalekas restaurant is known for. Now, starting in the new year, though, meals like that won't be served here anymore. That's because after seven decades of service, Mary Kalekas is walking away from the restaurant. She says she needs to move on with her life, but she also wants a break from this daily routine. The lunch rush is especially busy today at the Kalekis restaurant. That's because Winnipeggers heard this favorite eatery is closing up shop. Yeah. Owner Mary Kalekis is turning 88 in December, and she says it's time for a break. And I've been working here since I left high school in 42. That's 70 years. Mary's father, Chris Kalekis, started the establishment. Eventually, Mary and her sisters took over. She says having no kids and with family aging, there was no one to take over. After contemplating it for some time, Mary has decided to close up. I spent uh, every day of my life here. And, uh, of course, that was the part and parcel of my responsibility. The pending closure of Kalekis is just one in a line of iconic eateries that have closed in recent years. This past summer, the Wagon Wheel served its last clubhouse. The longtime owners of the Shanghai walked away in 2011, and Winnipeg's original sushi restaurant served its last meal early this year. Longtime patrons like Bobby Joe Smith are sad to see another iconic restaurant close. I'm sad to see Mary go. I've been coming here 25 years. So what was it about the restaurant that kept Winnipeggers coming? They don't skimp on <laughs> anything. Yeah, it's good. And the people here are so friendly. Kaleka says her fond memories include feeding prime ministers and celebrities and working with family. But it's the customers that made this all worthwhile. I've been mean, the most wonderful customers you ever want to come across. Kalekis will serve up her last order of fries on January 30th. Marjorie Dowhouse, CBC News, Winnipeg. Thanks, Marjorie. We have more on the closing of Kalekis and a list of former Winnipeg dining icons on our website. That's cbc.ca slash Manitoba. A Winnipeg institution will soon close its doors. After eight decades in business, the Kalekis restaurant is closing. Over its long and storied history, the family-owned restaurant was a North End landmark. CTV's John Hendricks take a look back and shows you why it's closing. 
it hasn't been around forever, but it sure feels that way. The Kalekas restaurant has been open for 81 years, every one in this same Main Street location. My dad started on this, rest, in this, this location in 1931. He had an old Model T truck and he brought it in. Chris Kalekas would sell food from the back of that truck until the 40s when he built the physical restaurant on the spot he used to park his truck. So, you know, we've been here in the North End for a long time. But that time is now coming to an end. The Kalekas family has decided to close the restaurant. Mary Kalekas is turning 88 next month and says she's beginning to slow down a little, or at least she'd like to. I've been working every day, seven days a week, open up every morning for the past 30 years. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's going to be nice to be able to sleep in. <laughs> nice for her, devastating for the many loyal customers who patronized this restaurant for decades. We were all crying. And it was just, it was, it's a shock. It's like, oh my God, I had no idea because I always thought Kalekas will close when Mary is no more. Instead, everyone will have a real chance to say goodbye. Thanks, Mary. Okay, we'll see. Take care. We'll see, we'll see again. Kalekas's will close January 30th. And with it, a storied chapter of Winnipeg's North End comes to an end as well. John Hendricks, CTV News, Winnipeg. Now, Mary Kalekas says if someone wants to buy the building after the business closes, well, she's willing to entertain offers. But if the new owner wants to reopen the restaurant, they may have to find a new name. Mary isn't sure she wants to license the use of her famous last name. And as one would... Le restaurant Kelekis au coin des rues Main et Redwood fermera ses portes le 30 janvier 2013. Ça n'a pas été une décision facile pour la famille de Mary Kelekis. La femme qui a atteint l'âge de 88 ans euh, prend définitivement là, sa retraite de la restauration. Dans l'histoire de la ville de Winnipeg, le restaurant Kelekis a été le premier à offrir de la nourriture prête à emporter. Depuis 81 ans, donc, le restaurant offre des hamburgers et des frites, notamment, à ses clients. If you've dined at an iconic eatery that many of us know very well, then you've joined the likes of Dennis Quaid and Pierre Elliott Trudeau. The diner doesn't boast any extravagant decor, and you wouldn't necessarily know from the outside that it's been serving Winnipeg for 81 years, but it's about to close its doors for good. Here's more. She's been serving the customers of this iconic local diner for more than 70 years. Now Mary Kalekis is planning to close down shop. And I miss all of you guys. It's time. We've been here now 81 years. And I'm double eight on the 15th of next month. In 1931, her father opened C. Kalekis at the corner of Main Street and Redwood Avenue. First run out of a Model T Ford, the restaurant was one of the first fast food joints in the city. He had an idea to sell french fries, and then he put hot dogs in it in the mid-30s, and it, it took off. And business has been going strong ever since. I guess they like the food, and they like my, my, my family. Kalekis has hosted a number of well-known celebrities and politicians over the years whose pictures they proudly display on their wall of fame. It was even the backdrop for a key scene in the movie Goon. So you're the new me, eh? <laughs> I don't know about that. We've had so many me wonderful memories. But most of the restaurant's success has come from the regulars, families who've been stopping in here for generations. My dad came home from the Second World War. He was a pilot. And the first thing he did was come out here. I've been coming to this restaurant since I was young. And I know, I know the family extremely well. But much like other small mom and pop shops whose owners have announced closings this year, Kaleka says it's time she took a break. The past 30 years I've been opening every single morning, seven days a week. As we get older, you know, we, we can't do it anymore. It's too much. As much as we have good staff and everything else, we can't, it can't be everything. Kalekis will serve its last dog January 30th. Kaylee Hamilton, Global News.